Ta -da. <laughs> My name is Brendan Fernandez. I'm an artist based in New York, Chicago, and Toronto. My work definitely starts out with an idea. Two of the main ideas in my work is the sort of idea of identity and cultural belonging through the space of post-colonial narrative. I was born in Kenya, we immigrated to Canada, but we're of South Asian descent. So I question this idea of authenticity and identity through the sense of self and migration, the migration story, the trajectory of movement. I look at cultural dance, but I also look at uh, the way that Western forms of dance like ballet have created a form of understanding uh, cultural dance uh, specifically West African masquerade. Um, so I look at that through the process of a post-colonial narrative uh, through dance, but I'm also looking at how dance itself is a process of, of labor. The labor that we take when we're dancing uh, isn't necessarily understood when you're watching it uh, from the stage. So I'm really curious about that space of, of labor and I'm, and I'm sort of questioning that value of it as well. I like how you created that tail. I like the kind of subtle ridge that it's happening. Well, one thing that I find so amazing about the Hot Chop is that um, it's like a dance and it's just like by watching, you know, um, the team you know, working together, they all are so intuitive to them, to each other, to themselves, they know how to work and it's, it's just amazing to watch that pattern. Um, and so I keep on asking them questions like, you know, how long have you guys worked together? It reminds me of, of, you know, when I dance, when I used to dance, you know, we would all move together at the same time, understand each other's bodies, but we'd do it at, you know, without watching each other. We just kind of understood ourselves. And so being in the Hot Shop has been a really interesting experience to watch the choreography of the Hot Shop, to watch the way people are interacting and moving with themselves together as one. You're gonna like what you're eating with because you all are sharing from the same yeah. plate. Uh, with this, this sort of access and privilege into the Museum of Glass, working with you know, this leading team of, uh, of glass artists. That is nice. It allows me to think about my work in a different way, a way that I don't necessarily always get the opportunity to, 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 to practice in. Um, so I've been thinking about some of the ideas, the concepts that I'm working with, the idea of choreography, the idea of labor, the idea of movement, you know, so glass is a material that is in liquid state is moving uh, and its solid state still has, you know, a, a chemical movement within it. And so I've been sort of thinking about that and sort of trying to make sort of like abstract bodily forms that sort of suggest the body but also have these slight gradations and movements in the glass where you can sort of see like like almost like a musculature to the glass. I'm curious about about that, thinking about the, the, these forms, these abstract forms becoming moving forms but they're also kind of referencing the body. And so being in the hot shop has been a really interesting experience to watch the choreography of the hot shop, to watch the way people are interacting and moving with themselves together as one. And I think that's kind of amazing. And a lot of my work comes to that question of, you know, it's about those social political questions, but at the end of the day, it's about let's come together as one. So it's quite a, an amazing sort of utopic kind of space in the hot shop that's happening, this dance for one made by many. <laughs>